Hollow Beats. Everybody, it's Christy, owner of Blue Labels Boutique and the designer behind the fashion line, Fashion Not Fear. And today we're headed into the store, trying to see if I can find some paint for that special project of my studio equipment that I told you about. See you in a minute. Okay, everybody, so the first stop was a bust. Um, not to dog people who like Walmart, you know what I mean, but I'm not a really big Walmart fan, to be honest with you. Um, I like Target, and I like Target for different reasons because I like, um, I like the clothes. You can get cute clothes from Target. You can get good snacks. They have a lot more things along the, along the lines that I eat as far as organic and plant-based stuff but I will say today I did come up on a old gem of a snack I didn't get any paint but I got some Beyond Meat turkey oh, excuse me some Beyond Meat jerky it's hidden so at least I was able to get something out of it but I'm gonna go to another store hopefully today uh, baby boy is kind of over it so we'll see how he goes but if not I'll keep you posted and so this is how my current chair looks as you can tell it's dirty it's it's short it's raggedy it used to have a back on it but back came off i lost the uh the nails and everything that go with it so as you can see a revamp of this was not gonna was not gonna hurt definitely need it I definitely needed a new uh, chair. So, you know, something cute, something that I feel good sitting in, something comfortable. So, that's how my chair currently looked. This is the old chair. Hey everybody, it's, we're on our way inside Lowe's to check to see if we can find some paint for our upcoming project. Got my little employee here, my mama, what's up mama? And my little nephew. So come shop with us and see if we can find anything. What is it, flat? Ultra white, oh, but is it flat? Or Ultra gloss? No, no, that no. says that. Don't that look great? Yeah, it looks great. I mean, that's what that. I know what that's saying. That looks great. I don't know if it's flat. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
Okay, so shopping at Lowe's was a complete success. I was able to get the paint. And so I'm headed right now to start the project. Okay, first thing I gotta do is make sure that I protect the ground so it won't be all black paint. Got a piece of wood, making it good. Next thing I'm gonna do is cover up the feet on the chair, so I'll have to take them off. So I'm gonna keep it simple with some plastic bags. And just, the wheels are in very good condition. So I'm just gonna wrap them with plastic bags. Y'all need me to get me get them, tell me, mama. Is he yelling at you, Mama? Man, man. Is he yelling at Mama? Uh-oh. You okay, baby boy? I can't do too much looking down because my verda act up. I, I can't look down too much because my verda act up. Oh. And the fun part's left. <laughs> Let's get to painting. Doing fine. Fourteen ninety nine. I'm on to the DIY surgery. Eight dollar paint. <laughs> Eight dollar paint if you can't. Eight dollar paint. I got a mask up and I ain't talking about for the wrong. I got a mask up. Poo -poo.
Okay, so I gave it about 30, 40 minutes to dry on the first coat. So I'm gonna finish hitting the pieces that um, I didn't get on the first can. I got my second can here. And I'm gonna finish up the paint with this second can. Now the can, the uh, paint that I got is, it has primer and um, the supposed to be like the coverage stuff for it so that way I don't have to do all any other like protective coats or anything and so after I finish this you're supposed to let it basically cure for about 48 hours and that's to make sure that you know because I'm gonna take it to a closed area you want to make sure that it's completely dry because when it's not dry, that's when you can be subject to the car carcinogens and everything. So that's one of the reasons why wearing a mask is so important. Mask up. This is my COVID mask and my paint mask. Don't judge me. Paint can number two.
Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over and so I can paint the bottom part and make sure everything is perfect. Okay, now it's time to let it completely dry. It's gonna sit out in the sun for about two, well, actually till tonight. And then, oh no, I'll probably just let it sit outside uh, for two days to make sure it's completely dry, completely cured, so that way we can make sure there's no uh, toxins or carcinogens or anything that could be released in the air. And next up is the cushion. Cushion for the cushion. Stay tuned. Okay, so here is my uh, cushion fabric. I just took some scrap fabric that I already had. This is why I always say um, you never see me wasting any, any fabric. I keep every piece because you just never know when you're going to use it clothes, a cushion, <laughs> you just never know. But I made it simple. I just went to the chair traced measured a little bit just to see how big i needed it and sold some pieces together as you can see this is like i just have to sew this fill it with poly and sew it this is the top you know this is the bottom part just two pieces together here and then this one piece here together one piece here together
Are you ready? Bon, 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 bon. Ooh, here she is. It actually turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. With the black mat and the cushion is really cushiony, but it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna get flatter. The seat's real cushiony, but it's gonna get flatter, of course, as I sit my butt in it. Turn around so you can see the back. Take a look. This is her without my cushion. I told you in the last video that I was going to be redoing my studio equipment or my work equipment, and this is the first piece. The other piece I'm doing is um, my sewing table but the pieces all the pieces that i need to do that is not in yet so you'll have to wait till the next video to catch that and see how i redid that but come on now check out my lovely chair next video stay tuned not only will you see what i'm doing on um not only will you be able to see what i'm doing with my uh set up for my desk but you'll also see the next piece for the fashion i fear collection that i'm working on and here's a little hint here's a little piece of the scrap fabric isn't she cute isn't she summery wondering what i'm gonna make next you'll have to see on the next video until then check her out Thank you guys so much for watching and spending a little bit of time with me today. I really appreciate it. Stay fearless and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.